Okay, we're going to make a dessert. Yep, I cannot do without my chocolate. I don't know how well you can see here. Um, this is another recipe that's all over the internet. It is basically called a microwave mug cake. I don't use a mug. You can. It comes out a little cute little cylinder. Uh, I use this because um, it just looks more like a cake to me and it kind of spreads out a little bit more. So this is, I think it's on YouTube as the chocolate mug cake. Um, hold on. There. I almost forgot, and I made uh, made my own uh, sugar-free chocolate chips. Uh, I don't know if you can see them, I'm gonna put those in there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good. So basically, you're gonna put everything. I'm going to mix everything in one thing. I'm doing all of my measuring cup. Come on. Save my eggshells. You need two eggs. All this stuff is so easy, y'all. Why people think it's so hard is because we've gotten so accustomed to uh, fast food that, you know, let's just drive through that we don't have to do any um, preparation. So, and then I'm going to take a half a cup. Now you can use almond flour uh, or cashew. I'm using cashew flour and you just need a, a half a cup right there. Mix that in. There's some other flowers um, that you can use, but basically, you can use flowers that are low carb. Almond flour is low carb. Um, cashew flour is low carb. So just kind of do your research, and then you, we need one. What is it? I have made this so much. Is it teaspoon? One teaspoon of baking powder. I usually make this about every couple of weeks. Put that right in there. Then I put my... What else? Why does it seem like I'm missing something? No. Oh. Oh, my cocoa powder. Now this one... Uh, it's a tablespoon, but you can make it as chocolatey as you want. So here I'm putting a tablespoon and a scotch more. Yeah, that was the hardest thing for me transitioning into a different way of eating was the chocolate part. So I still can't find my stick blender. I'm just going to use my fork and we need to add oh, do, 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 do. oh I forgot one tablespoon of my heavy whipping cream it's just great value heavy whipping cream And then I believe it's two tablespoons of sweetener. I just messed up that. So I'm going to take my half teaspoon. I'll just rinse it out. Now I'm using erythritol, uh, but you can use stevia or any any uh, sweetener. I imagine you can use sugar too if that's what you do, but uh, so I'm just going to add two tablespoons of erythritol. Right there. And then just a pinch of salt. Everybody knows that 
salt really brings out the chocolate. And then I've just got coconut oil. I'm gonna spray my little dish. this really good and I'll come back when I'm I've got it mixed really good okay so now I've got it all really mixed in now you can taste it you can taste it to see if it's sweet enough for you if it's not just add a little bit more uh, but it's just like cake batter and I pour it in my, my dish Gotta get every drop, especially if it's chocolate. I don't know, you know, you guys, let me know if you've tried these, what you think about them, if you've experimented and, and uh, used different ingredients. microwave for about two minutes and then we'll check it if it needs more we can do a little bit more so I'll be right back oh my gosh I'll take a look at that I don't know if you can see that yeah that's all you do um, one of the things I was going to mention when you're making especially desserts uh, like I I thought about it earlier and then I forgot I was going to make a cherry flavored all you would have to do is add a few drops to taste of whatever flavor you want. I even have maple extract, uh, orange, lemon, uh, vanilla. Um, I have just about all the flavors in the extracts. Uh, and then you can just flavor it however you want. So I'll let this cool a little bit. And then I'll be back. Okay, so now it's cooled down a little bit. I am just going to kind of loosen it up around the edges. Now, you by all means can leave it in this. In fact, I don't think I'm going to undo it all, but I'm going to take a portion of it. off this. I don't know if you can see. Just like cake. Now what I'm going to do, shut you off again, I'm going to make some frosting. So hold on. Okay, so I'm going to, it's kind of just like my chocolate milk uh, that I made the other day. I'm going to put some almond milk in. It's probably a little less than a half a cup. My heavy whipping cream. Quite a bit of that. And then I'm going to flavor it. Oops, that's lemon. No. Nope. With cherry. I'm going to flavor my whipped cream. And just be real careful. That's probably enough. That's probably. Oh. quarter teaspoon maybe put that on there I'm going to shut you off while I make it okay so I'm going to open it up ooh I can smell the cherry see what I've got here I have whipping cream and so what I'm going to do my cake. I'm going to cut that in half. Get a spoon. Look at that, y'all. That 
it's just yummy. I'm gonna make me a double layer cake. Put this piece on top of that one. to tell you about, to make sure you add your sweetener of choice. I don't really make this very sweet. This is the country girl way of cooking. But there you go. Some wonderful whipped cream. Let's see if I can do this without... It's the bomb. Alrighty, y'all. I'm going to go enjoy my cake. Adios.